Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over how I train my pets that have the healing skill. So, to find out if your pet has it, you want to click on animal lore, and obviously on your pet, if it has the healing ability, it will do kind of like a bandage to itself to heal you, or it'll try to heal itself during combat. So I see a lot of comments in the global chat that are saying like, man, I, my healing is just not going up on my pet. How do I do it? Do I, you know, do I need to go discord my pet so I can get more healing, blah, 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 blah. So what I have done is I have set up a little thing outside of my house here by dragging an ogre over. And very simply what I have done is I have set up my actual razor here under see agents, bandage heal, set target my pet start below 20 percent and the reason we're doing below 20 percent obviously i would never recommend that when you're going and hunting <laughs> but uh the reason i'm starting below 20 percent is it only heals the pet whenever it's about to die and gives the pet a chance to heal itself while this ogre beats on it so as you can see it's continuously trying to heal itself you'll hear that the cue you want to listen for is like the bandage sound so um, whenever you're not bandaging it, you're going to want to listen for that sound. And that is the pet trying to heal itself. So um, I've already used my whispering, so I can't use it again for four minutes. But um, about every 10 minutes or so, you want to come back and check and, and do the whispering again. Mine lasts for like nine minutes and something seconds or something like that. So um, this will greatly boost your ability to gain healing quickly. And as we can see here, I was at 32.1 or 32.5 or something. Now I'm at 32.7. It is still a slow grind, obviously, to get the healing up on your pet. However, doing this is pretty hands-off as long as you have enough bandages in your inventory to continuously make sure your pet doesn't get to a point of just dying. This will keep the pet alive and allow it to actually heal itself um, enough to where it'll gain gain that healing and you don't have to uh, Was there yep now it's 32.8 so again, it's not the fastest um, Way to right it, I'm sorry. It's not the fastest skill gain out of anything that the pets gonna have obviously you can see My parry already went up to 115 just by letting it get beat on here but uh, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to freely hands off get your pets healing up that way whenever you do go into the dungeons with it or you know champ spawns or whatever it may be um, your pet's not going to have to gradually get the healing up that way it will be able to have the healing already so you can maximize you know obviously your, your gold gathering or whatever else you're doing so <clears throat> again what you want to do on here is as soon as you can use whispering it's a awesome tool it comes with the mastery so what that you want to get the book of masteries you can buy one for 10k on the vendor search and at least get the first book i believe of animal taming um I what it's called but it's like a little stack of books you'll get them they, they drop all the times in the champ spawns and uh you can also find those on the vendor search but Go over it one more time in Razor and show you. If you go to Bandage Heal under Script, or I'm sorry, Agents, it's the same place you do your auto loot, your scavenger, and everything else. Bandage Heal. I have mine start up on login. That's just because I'm always with my pet. But uh, you'll want to target, set target the pet you want to heal, and then start below 20%, which will allow the pet plenty of HP to continuously heal itself. But this keeps it from, like, let's say, failing several heals in a row and dying. So um, get, you know, a couple hundred bandages. For example, I, I put about 800 on here. I've only actually used 45 so far, and I've been running this for about 10 minutes. So the pet is actually healing itself fairly well to keep itself alive. Um, but obviously, when it, when it does fail those heals, because it's only at 30 skill, this allows my character to step in. Make sure it doesn't die and get it back to a healthy level so it can continue on its training and get that up. So we were at 32.7. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're at 33.9. So it raised over a point in just the amount of time I was talking, which was about a couple of minutes here. 
So real short video, just wanted to go over um, how to raise healing the most efficient way, in my opinion, um, very, very quickly without having to go into dungeons and watch your pet fail at healing over and over again um, while you're trying to accomplish, you know, obviously grinding or, or getting this stuff like that. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I would absolutely love a uh, subscribe and um, obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, share the video. And I've, I've got a goal I'm trying to hit for 2024, and man, you guys are making it awesome. I went from no followers to now I think I've got over 50, so this is great. Um, it's a pleasure making videos for everybody that's watching. Um, thank you so much, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a great day.